302 tester result. On this file, I'll record the uh, tester condition for the different uh, type. And we will use all this information to draw a scatter chart. It will be like this. And let's uh, compare this uh, result. OK, let's start first. The first step, uh, we like uh, create this new chart. And its type is a scatter with a straight lines. And the data will be coming from the A1 to C402 in the worksheet of the brand A. And the other will be from the brand B. And it's a, a different area. It's from the A1 to C102. Uh, actually, it's, you cannot highlight both this uh, area because they are at a different uh, uh, worksheet. So first, uh, maybe I just uh, highlight the first uh, uh, brand A from the A1 to C402. Uh, and after I highlight this uh, cells, and then we will go into the insert chart. This is a skater chart. And this one, skater with a, a straight line. So we need to choose it. And then you can see the line already show up. Um, but we need to move this uh, to be a new line, a new chart. And this name should be as a chart of the uh, comparison. So we will move this chart to another uh, uh, worksheet. So choose it. And look at this. It's a chart tool in the design. You can have a, a location. So you just click the move chart. And it's a new chart. I hope it's a new chart. And type your uh, uh, label for this chart. OK. Um, and it will be the chart of comparison. Then this chart will be moved to a new uh, place. And the sheet name is the chart of comparison. But of course, this is not a uh, finish. Uh, we still need to add the uh, data from the brand B. So we come back to a uh, chart tool in the uh, design. Here we need to uh, select our data. In this year, this group data, we can select the data. And get inside the select data, you can add, add your data. So after you add, you need to give me the series name and the series x value. All right, the series, uh, series name will be the um, like this. Uh, for example, I will add it. Uh, the serial name will be like uh, the title, like this. And the x value will be from the A2. Uh, that's the uh, uh, axis uh, number. And the y is the really value from the B. OK. So I need to add one more. And it will be start from the brand B. And of course, the serial name will be the uh, B1. And the x is uh, from the uh, A2 to uh, A102. And the y is the really value. It's uh, from the B2 to B. 102. OK. Then look, the third line already been added. And you need to keep going to add another one. And right now, your serial name will be uh, brand B, another one. It's uh, this uh, a second test. The X will be the same from the A2 to A102. And your Y, it's for this value, the C2. To C hundred two. Okay, and after this, we can see the data. We have uh, four different data. Then we can click OK. So look, that's uh, uh, four lines for the uh, four different data. Now we finish the first question. The uh, next step, we we'll like add some title. Uh, first uh, will be your chart title. It will be at the, above the chart. And uh, your label of axis for the x and the label for the y axis. OK, 
all this is uh, belong to the uh, data label. Belong to the label. Okay, so we were back to the uh, layout. And here is a chart title, and I will select the above the chart. And then I will type Okay, that's a uh, uh, charter uh, title. Then I need to add uh, its a uh, horizontal axis title. It's a uh, title uh, uh, below the axis. That means this one. I will type the interval of testing. Then I will add one more. It's a vertical axis, and we need to choose. It's a. Uh, let's look at the question. Okay, it's a vertical and transforming curve. So. Type. Transforming curve. Okay, so that's uh this three are our title. The third question I uh, would like to set up the gray line, and of course it's a major, both the major and the minor in the uh, primary horizontal and the vertical gray line. Okay, so that means we need to abort the major and the minor green line. Uh, we need to back to the chart. The green line will be inside the uh, layout. And the asset here, I have a green line. And choose the horizontal green line and because of both. So you need to choose the major and the minor. And look, that's a green line. And same for the vertical. Choose the both. Okay. And a green line for you to uh, check out the value. That would be easier. A number four would like to uh, change the uh, position of this legend. Original legend here. Right now, we like to uh, place this legend on the bottom of this chart. And of course, we'll change the font size to be the 12. All right, we don't need to uh, move ourselves. We can go back to the uh, chart tool here. I have a legend. I will change this uh, show legend at the bottom. Then look, already moved. And highlight this legend, go back to the home. You need to change the font size to be the uh, trail. OK. A last question, we like to modify this horizontal axis. Uh, actually, it will be this line. Uh, but this line, it's not so clear. So we like to give the spatial format and change the uh, value from the uh, minima is 1 and maxima is 6. Because look here, from 0 to 1, we don't have any chart. And uh, um, the number more than 6, actually, we don't have uh, any chart. So we will uh, change the minima and the maxima. OK, and the major tick mark type is a cross type. All right, let's start uh, this uh, first two. All right, we make uh, we will back here there, and uh, the layout inside the layout we have an axis here, and it's a ho for the horizontal. And just get inside the option here, I can change the minima to be the one, and the maxima to be the six. And after I change, you can see here from the uh, one that start from the uh, zero. And the major tick mark type is a cross. So I will select this and choose a cross. And the other, I need to check the question. OK. The border line should be the solid line uh, with uh, 10 background darker 75. OK, the border line, so we need to uh, choose this one, a uh, line color. The co line color is a. Uh, uh, a uh, solid line, and then its color is a 10 
background darker 75. So I think it would be this one. And the line style is a 4.5 point. So we go back to the line style, change this to be the uh, 4.5. Okay, then we can close it. And look, that's a, a axis for the horizontal. We change the minimal, maximal, and we change the type. It's a cross, and I change the color and the line width. All right, so that's a, a charter we need.